Riff, turn off the mic. Oh, we turn off the mic. Morning, people, one and all. Episode 25.2. Uh, let's see how that goes. Oh, better pack test that, hadn't I? Right, here's me angle grinder. Here's me floppy disk. Here's my pieces that I'm going to be attempting today, this morning, whatever. Okay, right. Get myself a brew first, I think. Set up on the right foot, eh? Hey. Cool. Well, I've got a slap and dicker workmate somewhere, but I can't, uh, I can't find it. I think it's buggered off somewhere. Anyway, this will have to do for now. I'll dust, dust sheet it up, so hopefully not too much blue dust goes over the neighbours. Sorry, Sharon and Andy. Right, okay, let's crack on. It's going to be chipmunk time. Eye protection!
always good to have five minutes on, half an hour off when you're doing anything like this. Otherwise, you're going to get hand arm vibration. Uh, right. Pause it there. I'm going to have a look. Okay, that's not too bad, is it? Let's go indoors. Ooh, that's a bit warm, sir. That is so much more fun than uh, electrolysis. It's coming off all right, isn't it? And it's fairly quick, too. It's an easy enough process, but you've got to have... I don't recommend do, doing this if you haven't got a lot of arm strength, unless you've got this clamped in a vice or, or uh, you know, slap and dicker work, mate. Uh, yeah, and also, you really should have the, the handle and the... Um, cover on your on your wheel there because i've done many many years of using that particular tool i'm not complacent with it i give it total respect and uh that's how i get along right definitely having a brew now Whew, flipping neck Woo! coming on baby Right, wow, well, flipping shave off. That's how I've got, far I've got so far. Uh, just stop for a, a quick shave and that. Yeah, it's loads, isn't it? It does take a while, but uh, yeah, flipping Nora. It's going to take me another, probably another hour and a bit to do the rest of that. Right. Okay, you can't beat a brand new razor blade, can you, when you're trying to sort your hair out? Yeah, I had a bit of an accident there, but never mind. Right. That brew was nice. I might go and have a sarni now. And, uh, yeah, sort it out. Cheers, guys. Turn that off. Birmingham. Oh, remarkable recovery. Okay. I've got a panda eyes. Don't know. Probably. Is this a labour of love? Yes, definitely. Look. Oh my goodness. My tits are all dirty. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, come and have a look. Oh my word. How glossy, glossy is that? That's not bad, is it? To be fair. It's a shame to paint it, isn't it? I don't really want to get sort of wet, salty hands on there, so I'm going to have to handle it with something else right let's have a look at it okay. now what i like to do when i've got pieces like this obviously i'm gonna have to do that on the bench drill or something and in these little knickknacks what i like to do is i like to chamfer the edges off just like so i mean just taking a bit of the corners off there the corners off there it's all nasty and sharp there there yeah no sharp edges Okay, it's just uh, just me. Just chamfer them bits off there. When you've got your hands in the back there, you're spanner and sometimes you're blind, you can't see what you're doing. The last thing you want is great big lumps of skin coming off. Yeah, and I've kind of removed the, the lumpy weld that was bulged up. And I know it's kind of there for a reason, but I'm just, I like to sort of feather it and just do what I can to you know, alleviate, there was a big bulge there, ooh, uh, misses, rather large uh, bulge, sort of thing. Same, same the other side. Uh, yeah, just, uh, I'll give that a good, I'm gonna cover this up this evening because there's no way I'm gonna get paint on that today, plus I've got any, <laughs> no, I need, I need some uh, primer to go with that, that Holtz paint. Oh, yeah, I've been on a flipping mission. Absolute mission today. Look at that. Doesn't look like the same one, does it? Apart from there. I've got to sort of get in there, I don't know, somehow or other with whatever. But yeah, I've given it a good scrub a dub dub to the best of my ability. Okay, so in conclusion, uh, arse. No, uh, removing paint. You know, uh, there are many ways, aren't there? Many, many, well, that's probably the best way or the easiest way is, is paint stripper, but you can't use paint stripper in the, well, I don't know. Paul, any ideas? 
I do think you said something to me about paint stripper. Yes, you did, and I've forgotten. Bugger. But yeah, anyway, mechanically, I like to remove paint as I've got that little flappy. I'm still on the same wheel, same flappy wheel. Where is it? <laughs> it just seems to go on and on. A bit like me, really. <laughs> It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? So, yeah, that's all good. I could have actually finished that off, but I have got tingly fingers, and that really isn't good. I have been stopping, uh, you know, sort of for a brew and that every sort of hour, but this is like four hours in, and that's that's a result. But it's like sculpture, isn't it? You can make it your own, can't you? Because on these, you know, on any bike, where you, the parts that aren't really seen, the welds are a little bit on the, on the industrial side, aren't they, shall we say? But there we are. Right, I'm going to wrap that up. I know it's a very quick video again, but I like to try and get one in a day, do some shorts. Um, um, they, it won't be every single day. I'm, I'm, I'm going up to see my boy on Sunday, so that's good. Uh, it's a, a long trip up to Derbyshire. Aye. So, yeah. Oh, Clive, I haven't posted your flipping uh, your watch. Bugger. I'll tell you what. I'll post first thing in the morning. All right, my okay. Take it easy, guys. See you later.